Hello, my tubies and my Teletubbies. She's a true love right here. And I had to, you know, I'm always doing, like, trying to upgrade myself. And I always do a lot of meditation. I love meditation because it helps you to do, you know, you take a self-inventory on yourself and who you are. And I was laying here in my bed, uh, well, actually, last night. And I was thinking, have I ever been a hater? You know, somebody who could see other people prospering and you, 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 you don't feel good with that. You're not happy for them. Yeah, that's it. You're not happy for them. Have I ever been a hater? Yeah, I have been a hater. I don't even call it a hater. I'm not a hater. I just feel that when I see people getting things and prospering in life and they don't deserve it. Like, I think about adult children and the way they treat their parents, and yet they keep prospering, prospering, prospering. I think about people who rape children, little children, you know, three-year-olds and stuff, and yet they prosper and prosper. I think about people who are like these, these influencers. Why are you an influencer, Cardi B, uh, uh, Kim Kardashian, just to name a few, shaking your behind, Showing that women, they, they, they make it seem that women are nothing more than pieces of meat. That w women are good for nothing except for sloppy toppies and uh, putting your vajayjay, your sacred place, up for sale. And yet I see them constantly prospering. Yeah, it sickens me to my stomach. But then, I don't know, for some reason the Holy Spirit directed me to Psalms chapter 73. Psalm 73, where Asaph, he was a hater, according to what the world is, the way the world views it. And Asaph was saying, what good is it for me, God, to be working like crazy, to live the way you want me to live, to be imitating Jesus Christ, to be doing the right things, and I, I, and I seem to not prosper. And I look at these people in the world, and they're doing all these, all kinds of disgusting things. Disgusting. And yet they seem to prosper. And then the Bible shows how God took Asaph to his sanctuary. He let them see. He let him see how these people end up, how they end up. You know, things can change for them in the blink of an eye. And it's not necessarily a good thing. And I see people who do things like adult children and they keep prospering. But you have to keep in mind, Satan, the devil is a God, too. So they call it a blessing from God. Remember, Satan the devil is a god.